The Cameo Club, March 2017. When the shots and the bullets start flying, it quickly became the Chaos Club. It was just complete chaos. When the shooting started, there was panic. There was, um, there were people trying to get out. For the first time, Assistant Hamilton County Prosecutors David Prim. There were as many as 800 people inside this bar. And David McElwin. Well, it was multiple fist fights. Talk about the case, saying it all began when one group had been to a funeral that day and were wearing T-shirts with the victim's name and picture. And they ran into a rival group of individuals who were mocking them, laughing at them apparently, making fun of them, the fact that their friend had died, making uh, finger gun motions at them. That began the fights. At one point, Cornell Beckley, the man who pleaded guilty, was fighting on the ground, but then got up on stage and started firing. And people started firing back. As many, we think, as five more people, so six people were shooting. A bouncer pinned Beckley, grabbed his gun and car keys, but Beckley got away in the confusion. They used the keys to find a car and tracked it to Beckley. He denied he was there, but didn't know this. Multiple people remembered the shooter in a red jacket. There was a picture that they found of Mr. Beckley wearing that red leather jacket. This is that picture of Beckley in the red jacket that led to the smoking gun. Beckley is now serving nearly two decades in prison. Now, investigators got those car keys. They had no idea what car it went to, so they had to go through the parking lot until they heard the sound. That car then led them to Beckley, uh, who is now serving his sentence. Coming up at six, we're gonna tell you how they got him to plead. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.